everyone, it's Katie. Today I am filming a slightly different video than what I've done before. You know, another year has come and gone. We are now in 2017 and I thought it would be appropriate to do a little reflection video. I mean, I've done a lot of reflecting myself just on the year of 2016 and I thought I would put it in video form. So today I will be bringing you 16 random reflections slash memories, etc. on 2016. Here we go. January 1st, 2016 will go down in history as being one of the worst days of my entire life. My three and a half year relationship had just come to an excruciating and ugly ending literally hours before. New Year's Eve. Are you kidding me? I will forever remember that day and the feelings that I felt. Couldn't eat. Couldn't sleep. Between that heartbreak and the gnarly hangover. Horrible combination. It was a truly hideous day, and I knew in that moment that the year only had one place to go, which was up, and that it did. I would like to give a shout out to Miss Lauren and Miss Nicole for being with me that day, watching me eat two bites of food all day as I tried to muster up comprehensible words and just deal with the situation at hand. Uh, that day would have been even harder without you two, so. On January 18th, the year, which was already off to a weird start, a rocky start, got significantly better really fast. I moved in with a coworker, a girl I had met at work, Raquel. It was one of those right time, right place, world collide type of things. My loss had become her gain when she really needed a place and coincidentally, so did I. Neither of us were entirely sure how the experience would turn out, but it has truly been one of the best living experiences that I've ever had. Raquel, you're like a big sister to me, and the whole thing has been such a blessing. So thank you. 2016 was the year of bonding with a lot of great people. Things had been turned upside down, and I took it upon myself to make new friends, reconnect with old friends, etc. A few huge shout outs go to JoJo. I met you in, I think it was January, we decided, January or February, and it was love at first sight. We became instant friends right away. You are a sweetheart inside and out. I adore you, and I adore every moment that we get to spend. Another person that I really bonded with this year was David, my husband. I love you so much. We met back in 2010, I think it was, working for Disney, and nothing has changed. We've just gotten closer and better, and I adore you. You're my soulmate. Love you. Another beautiful person that I bonded with this year was Miss Mia. I met her back in 2015, but we had... Uh, a lot of experiences together this year. We saw each other through ups and downs and a really rough summer and we are the same person in so many ways and I love you and I cherish you. I also got to celebrate some really incredible people's engagements this year. Um, Eric and Nicole, I got to be a part of that one. That was amazing. Love you both so much. Nola and Rob, another fabulous one. I didn't you know, I, got, I had to FaceTime you, being that you live in a different state, but I can't wait for the wedding. Seriously, it's going to be the party of the year. And Alexis and Josh. Oh my gosh, you two. I remember back in, what was it, 2008? No, 2009. I don't know. When Alexis was analyzing a text from you, Josh, and homegirl couldn't figure out, does he like me, does he not, etc. And flash forward, you guys are engaged, and I can't wait. I also took it upon myself this year to really explore my own city. I've lived in California now for almost five years. Holy cow, it'll be five years in February. And on my days off, I would find myself wanting to just embrace the fact that I live in one of the most expensive <laughs> places in the country and one of the nicest places. And I would go to different restaurants and coffee shops and the beach and all these places and I would go alone a lot of the time and I just really fell in love with my city and Orange County even more and it really feels like home. It really does. In April was my birthday, April 10th. Um, I turned 27 and I had an amazing birthday party. It was in an amazing space, this huge gorgeous clubhouse and I had such a great turnout. I was so happy and overwhelmed and oh, oh all of you honestly who were there good memories people 
Good memories. Thank you all very much. It was just a great time. It was just a really special time that I felt like really loved and cared for and it was awesome. In June of this year, I I think it was June 1st actually, I got to spend a whole day at Disneyland with one of my best friends, Max. We had never done something like go to Disneyland just one on one and so that was a blast. I had tickets from still being a cast member. I think I did. Or did somebody sign us in? No, I think I had tickets <laughs> from when I used to work there. And we went and we ate churros and we vlogged the whole thing and it was a ton of fun. Max moved to New York City, my favorite city, at the end of this year. He got a huge promotion with Makeup Forever, doing what he loves, and I'm so proud of you, Max. I miss you and I love you, and best believe I will come see you because that is my favorite city. On June 28th, 2016, a very special thing happened when my nephew, Gary Joseph Lujan, was welcomed into the world. Um, he was named after my sister-in-law's late father, and he was just a really, really, great blessing for them um, given the the rough year they had had previously it was the first it's my mom's first grandchild it's my first niece or nephew he is just the most precious little thing and I am biased and I do love babies in general but I'm telling you this kid is cute this kid is like he's a good-looking baby and I wish that I lived closer but I still love getting all the group text pictures that my family always sends me and I love to see him when I can and being an aunt is the best thing in the world. So I love you Gary. I don't know when you'll be old enough to watch this but this year for 4th of July I went to the City of Angels Los Angeles and I spent it with two of my best friends Sam and Sloan. We had a grand old time. I mean honestly I remember going up the night before Sam and I <sighs> Let's just say we played around on certain apps on our phone for the better part of the evening. We just, you know, I've been friends with those girls since elementary school, literally, and there are certain friendships that just don't ever die. And on the actual day of 4th, we put on our red, white, and blue. We went to a few house parties. I don't even care. I just was so happy to be with you two, and I love you both very much. In July, I got this idea to, uh, you know, replicate the popular DNCE song Cake by the Ocean. I thought to myself, I live by the ocean. I like cake. I know that's not what that song actually means, but let's do it anyway. So I called up my partner in crime, David, and we literally ate Cake by the Ocean. We had a picnic and it was amazing. Um, I got the cake from Hapa Cupcakes, which is one of my favorite places, here in downtown Fullerton, and then they posted my photo to their Instagram it was great. That memory definitely stands out to me. Cake by the ocean. In August, my best friend Hani and I drove at the crack of dawn, literally at like four o'clock in the morning, we drove down to San Diego to Coronado Island specifically to take one of our best friend Alexis, the one who got engaged, Alexis's spinning classes. Now homegirl is kicking butt and taking names. She teaches classes and she was teaching spin classes on the beach at the Dell in Coronado. So despite the fact that I slept like zero and got up and went to the spinning class and I nearly wanted to die because she's such a good instructor and it was such a tough class, that was definitely an amazing memory. Got to spend, you know, a lot of the rest of the day with those two girls. Lek, as we call her, has now moved to Vegas, which I'm a little sad about, but it's not too, too far. So that was just a special day for the three of us to hang out. In September, I dropped my phone in the ocean literally in the Pacific Ocean. Waves crashed over it, and it's still here to tell the tale. Andrew and Lizzie, you can attest to this as you were there with me. In September, mm, I'm gonna kind of cheat and combine these two reflections into one. I got to do something very special with my best friend, Lauren. She celebrated 10 years working for the Walt Disney Company, which was something that I never got to, and I admire that she did, because I worked for the Walt Disney Company, but not for 10 years. And she invited me as her plus one to the infamous 10-year party, which has an open bar, a closed down theme park, and quite frankly, one of the best nights of my life. So much fun. Snowballing off of that, the next day we got to take our very first vacation together as best friends. We've done a lot of things, but we had never been on just like a one-on-one -on -one vacation. So that was incredible. Some of you may know that we went to Portland, Oregon, where I met her best friend and my now boyfriend, Travis. So 
That vacation was amazing on many levels. I had no idea that my life was about to completely change on that day, September 16th, when I met him. But it did, and the three of us just made, honestly, some of the best memories of life. So, I love you both very much. In November, I got to go home for Thanksgiving, and that was the first time that I'd been home for Thanksgiving in years. It meant the world to me. I actually got to spend some quality time there with my mom, with my brother, with the baby. I got to meet up with a few friends, my cousin John and his wife Cynthia, and their adorable little girl Pilar. I got to spend time with them. It was just a really awesome, memorable Thanksgiving. In October, my best friend Sam and I made another fabulous memory when uh, we crashed her dad's what was it, Sam? 30 year high school reunion? It was here in Anaheim, and we were much younger than the average person attending said reunion, but we managed to sneak in anyway. And let's just say we had a grand old night, okay? It was amazing. We got to see the Disney fireworks from the rooftop. Paul Walker, that's her dad. I love you. Samantha Walker, I love you. Great memories, great times. And for my 16th reflection of 2016, this one has to go out to Travis, my boyfriend. We became official in October and things have been progressing and wonderful since then. We got to ring in the new year together, which was super amazing and just so symbolic of what like a great year 2016 turned out to be and how excited I am for 2017. And I'm just gonna spare everyone the abundance of cheese that would come out of my mouth if I sat here and talked about him for too long. But I will just say, Travis, I did not know that people like you existed. You have restored my faith in humanity. And I'm grateful for you every single day. Yes, your laugh is the best sound that I've ever heard in my entire life. All in all, 2016 was a crazy year. It was a huge year of growth in so many ways, so many lessons, so many unexpected twists and turns that came that looking back, I'm really proud at how I handled them all. So many amazing memories, so many amazing people. Like I said, old friends, new friends. I just... I, I don't know, I just, I don't even know what to say because I'm, I'm overwhelmed. And I hope that you all had a good 2016. I know that there was a lot of stuff globally and culturally that was hard. And of course that can kind of make it tough. But for me personally, I am proud of what 2016 turned out to be. And I'm incredibly optimistic for 2017 and I hope that all of you find yourselves to have an amazing 2017 as well no matter what gets thrown at you hang in there you can do it good things are around every corner truly whenever there's a down there's gonna be an up that comes right around the corner so just be the best person that you can be I don't know when this turned into me like giving a speech or giving advice but thank you guys for watching again this was an amazing year and I'm gonna go now I haven't eaten in several hours, so I'm gonna go do that. Thank you so much. I can't wait to make more videos this year. Love you. Bye.